Stop stabbing. Stop. Stop stabbing that person. Stop. Jokes. Less than 24 hours after the killing of Micaiah Bryant. And then when black creators call him out for his lack of professionalism and callousness, he calls them pathetic and sends in a drove of conservative trolls to harass them. <laughs> Officer Tino, I see you went private, but honey, don't forget we have trolls too. And fortunately for us, your partner here, who seems a bit obsessed with you, didn't go private. Wasn't hard to find Adrian's Facebook page at all and narrow you down to Bedford, New Hampshire. And I'll be damned if that ding dong didn't put his whole name in his Facebook profile. Once I found your BFF, well, it wasn't hard to find you at all, Nick Tino. Or Nicholas Fiorentino, as it's fully pronounced. And also, the Bedford, New Hampshire Police Department Facebook page has you all over it, sugar. I'll give you this. You did a good job hiding your patch on TikTok, but there it is, sweetie. Your own department gave you up. You should really check out this full-length exposure of all your TikTok antics I made for you. Your chief's gonna love it. Hey, you look like you're gonna go shoot those people. Could you just not do... Oh, he's pointing at me. I'm, I'm out. Hey, stop stabbing. Stop. Stop stabbing that person. Not stop. No. Dispatch. They didn't stop. Uh, so just show me clear. Well, Officer Tino, aren't you special? You built a platform off of what you think is funny, all while in uniform. I've decided to make it my mission to make sure your superiors know about your TikTok page. I really am. I personally think that everyone should go take a look at what you think is funny. Damn it, I've been banned from Dave and Buster's. What's something that you're supposed to like, but that you actually find slightly annoying? I, I know it's it's a pretty bad thing to say since I'm a cop, but these flashing lights are the worst thing in the fucking world. All right, we got a call coming in right now. Officer not answering his radio. Passerby called in too, so they saw an officer running. Looks like we got him right here. I see him running. Hey man, why are you running? What's going on? Why are you running? Dude, why are you running, man? What's, what's going on, dude? Dude, you're not answering your radio. Oh, shit. Like, what are you doing? I was, uh, recording a TikTok, dude. Are you, are you kidding me? No, sorry, man. Dispatch, we'll be all... I know, we should make our own live PD. We should make a private channel. Make our own. No liberals allowed. Jungle boot? They make a jungle boot? What? Dude, they keep coming out with stuff that, like... Look at these bad boys. So nice. I'm going to show you. Look at that. Woo! Woo! -hoo -hoo -hoo. 179 bucks. I need those bad boys in my life.
The boots I have that I bought are so nice. So I got these boots. I got these boots uh, just recently. So nice. So nice. Woo! Woo! Like, if you're in any kind of form of police or security or something like that, and you got the loot, highly recommend it. Solomon, sponsor me. <laughs> Listen, all you did was prove my point. After everything I said in the video, you completely deflected, disregarded, and then tried to make it seem like I'm obsessed. I wasn't the one in your comments. You're in, in mine, and you're still in mine. police officer is off the job while the department investigates this video here and others that were posted online. It shows a police officer in uniform mocking police reform efforts. Now we're told that he was on duty when some of the videos were made. WBZ's Paul Burton spoke with the Bedford chief. You look like you're going to go shoot those people. Can you just not do... Oh, he's pointing at me. I'm, I'm out. It's this TikTok video that has landed a Bedford, New Hampshire police officer in hot water. It's deeply disturbing to me uh, as a chief of police. The TikTok video created by a uniformed Bedford police officer was made apparently while on duty using his cruiser. Hey, stop stabbing. Stop. Stop stabbing that person. Stop. 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 They didn't stop. Uh, so just show me clear. Whether or not it occurred in the context of today's um, scrutiny of law enforcement or it occurred five years ago, to me it makes no difference. Uh, it's still uh, conduct that needs to be balanced against what the department defines as appropriate and professional. The officer who the chief says has been on the force for about three years has removed the video off of his social media account, but not before a citizen grabbed it and posted it on YouTube, where it's getting a lot of comments. Dude, you're not answering your radio. Oh. Like, what are you doing? I was uh, recording on TikTok, dude. The integrity and the trust and confidence in the Bedford Police Department uh, clearly is shaken here. Uh, the officer has been put on paid administrative leave pending the investigation. The department is also looking into a second officer who may have been involved. He is still on duty. In Bedford, New Hampshire, I'm Paul Burton, WBZ News. No good deed goes unpunished these days. Any of y'all been keeping up with the local news in Bedford, New Hampshire? If not, let me catch you up. Integrity and the trust and confidence in the Bedford Police Department uh, clearly is shaken here uh, by these allegations. Bedford Police say they're investigating one of their own officers about a TikTok video created in uniform and apparently while on duty. Do you mean this video? Stop stabbing that person. Stop. Jokes. Less than 24 hours after the killing of Micaiah Bryant. But wait, there's more. Another TikTok video involving the officer and another officer joke about making TikTok videos while cruiser emergency lights are on. Yeah, I included that video too, among several others in the YouTube compilation that's gotten more than 5,000 views in less than 24 hours, which included the chief's direct email and phone number and links to local press. You see, I told you, Officer Nicholas Fiorentino, that you weren't untouchable. And if you think for a minute that you've accomplished something by getting your mass trolls to come and attack my TikTok profile and get it taken down, you're not the first or the last and I'll get it back like I've done before. At least I'm not a deadbeat cop who lost the respect of my entire department, police chief, and community. Thug. 